Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see. What's in the fridge today? Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer, we got another one from Shorts Brewery, Nicholas Scent, and the beer mail. This is Good Humans, a dry hopped double brown ale. And it's got a date on the neck here, digitized of 11-13-2012. So this was put in the bottle in November. Uh, there is uh, no uh, ABV on the label here telling you what it is. I kind of like it when they put that on there too so we know whether we have one or whatever the deal is here on this one guys. ABV on this beer according to what I have at Beer Advocates is 8% and it's an American brown ale according to it here. It's available to use winter time so that's why we're going to go ahead and get this out of the fridge and get it done. Uh, the glass Glassware today, you could use the pint, the Becker, Stein, the mug, the tumbler, side I got the pint glass for this one, guys. The food pairings for this one, the cuisine is barbecue, the cheeses are earthy, Camembert, Fontina, uh, your nutty cheeses, Asiago, Colby, Parmesan, and the uh, meat for this is beef. So, and, and it's not recommended for extended salad rings. Even though it's an 8% beer, it's a hot forward beer, and that hoppiness is going to diminish over time. So, you want to get it out of the bottle, get it in the glass, and get it in your belly. So, without further ado, let's see what we got going on with this one. Right down the center we go. Straight down the pipe, down the old Gregory. Over into the light. A lot of bubbles streaming up on this one, guys. It is a very amberish, if not red ale looking color. It's almost ruby red. Slightly lighter than a ruby red. And with that aggressive pour, we got us a nice finger of head. Don't think it's going to stick around, but it looks pretty good on the beer right now. Very nice, very nice. Let's get a nose on it, guys. Wow, there's a whole lot of malt on this one. Very big, sweet maltiness, but there is a hot bitterness in there. So Here we are in February, and this was done in November. Would have been nice to have this in December. It would have been a lot hoppier than it is now. Just a slight hint of the hoppiness. It's faded, it's faded quite a bit already. It's almost like a, a spicy hop presence, earthy hop. I don't know what they use uh, to uh, to hop their beers with or dry hop their beers with. Oh well. Cheers again. Thanks, Nicholas. Very strange taste. I don't know what hops they're using. It's almost got like a peatiness or a smokiness to it too. Topping, caramel. Right interesting beer. A little more flavor than we, the one we did yesterday. This has got a little more bite to it and got a little more flavor. Not quite a session beer, I don't think. So This one seems to be just a little tastier. We're going to let it warm up. And it's 40 degrees right out of the fridge to see what we end up, end up with on this one, guys. So stick around and see what this one brings. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Very interesting beer. Don't know if I've ever had a dry hop double brown ale, so... Very interesting, very, to me, very malty. It's got a nice bitterness to it for the hops they use. I, I, I didn't find out what kind of hops they do use on this guy. I don't know what they dry hopped it with. Very pleasant. Bella Chug. Mm. 
it does have a very nice bitterness to it. It's not like a uh, typical piney grapefruity. It's more to me, it's more like an earthy, grassy hops than it is uh, the more typical uh, uh, grapefruity, uh, piney kind of hops that we'd normally think of. So they may use some kind of size hops or, or something like that that they uh, that they use to the better this up or dry hop it with. So guys, it's fairly tasty. I enjoyed this one. Uh, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a seven. It's a B plus as far as I'm concerned. It's got the date on the label. They need to put the ABV on on there so we know what we're dealing with here, guys. And if you're out having one of these, you kind of want to know uh, how much uh, how much alcohol is inside the bottle. So that being said, Beer Abbott comes up with 86, which is in their good range. And uh, Great Beer has 91 overall and 54 in the style. So somebody wasn't impressed with the style on this one. So. Uh, it was a, it was it definitely was different. So with that being said, if you had this, uh, give me some comments back on this and whether you liked it, didn't like it, loved it, or whatever the deal was. And uh, uh, it was a nice change. I don't know if I'd want to drink this particular style of beer all the time, but I don't know what the price was. It wasn't on the cap like it was on the other one he sent me. So uh, if you have it, give me some comments back on it, guys. Let me know what you think of it. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that like button if you like it. Let's look in the fridge tomorrow. I hope we're uh, going to get something in the A category. We'll see. <laughs> Join me then.